Hey everybody, so welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial. We've got another image sent in to us and we're going to be trying to recreate the exact edit with that very image. So as always, I'm going to be putting his link down in the description. So if you guys like his content, like his work, go down there and give him a follow. So coming down, looking at his feed, mostly using the natural tones, a uh, bit of a fade in those blacks sometimes. And we're going to be working with... This awesome image, GoPro. So let's get into Lightroom, see if we can create something like this. So here's our unedited image. So the main goal in this image is probably to get rid of those green tones. So I'm thinking I might start off with adding purple in there because when you add in the opposite of green, you're adding in purple. And as you can see, we've already got rid of a lot of those green tones. I add a bit of warmth in there. Right. Uh, contrast. So brightening the bright areas, darkening the dark areas. about there uh, you just got to play around see what affects what so I'm thinking bringing the highlights up so it can be tricky whether you think you should bring the shadows up or not because I think I should bring the shadows up a lot, but as you can see, our background is probably too bright now. But what I'm thinking is, I will most likely come down here and drop the luminance of the blues later on. So, or I'm gonna be doing an S curve at some point. But uh, whites. Whites, I'm gonna keep. So maybe just a little bit of clarity. Clarity just makes the image look more crisp. Works quite well with the water shots. Uh, I'm gonna really drop the saturation. And I want those mid-tones to pop a little. A little more than the tones and the shadows. So I'm going to bring up the vibrance. Get a few of those colors back. So we're looking alright. Uh, so tone curve. Gonna put a decent fade in those blacks, I think. I might just bring up those whites a bit. And you might think, well, 
our turtle looks a bit too dark bring up this point here but then we will start to lose the shadows down the bottom here and I think it's much more likely that he has brushed the turtle brighter than the whole of the bottom of the image so you sort of can't um, brighten the turtle without brightening, brightening the shadow too much so I'm gonna keep it down here and on to HSL I think so now we want to bring out those colors definitely on the turtle so we have to figure out what colors they are so you might think the yellows not a lot of yellows but uh, they turn out to be a bit more green than anything and now they look a little too green so we're going to shift the greens all the way to the yellows make it a lot more yellow and orange uh, yellows gonna do the same I think and we also need to fix our blues so we are looking a little too maybe too much color in there this one looks a tad more purple maybe too green so I'm gonna move the aquas away from the green over to more of the blues to take out a bit more of that green there for the blues saturation obviously we're a bit too saturated down here so I'm gonna bring it down and I might just for the highlights add a slight bit of purple into the highlights just want to get rid of a few more a few more of those greens so just a little bit Uh, so uh, luminance is a really important thing so, so the, the brightness of our colors so we're struggling to get enough color on our subject might try deepening the greens brightness of our aquas about there blues I think they can look a little darker they mainly affect the background more purples as you can see they're deep into those blues I'm gonna drop them not much magenta but I'll drop that um, looking good I want to
I want to keep sharpening all the way down. Otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good. So, our subject isn't uh, saturated enough. But as you can see, we can't really get any more saturation in there, no matter what we bring up. So, we're going to bring out a brush. We're going to brush... If you hold M, you can move while you have your brush in your hand. Might want to turn on that. Right, so we want to grab that brush we just did. And I want to... I want to get rid of the red. And then add warmth into it. And that's going to give us a lot of those yellows and oranges. I want to brighten it up a bit. Maybe lift the shadows. And I think it looks pretty good. Might not want such a few pinks are almost creeping in there. So maybe pull back on these yellows a bit. Um, and then one thing I can see is might want to just bring out the top of the image a bit. So clarity maybe to bring out the top there and add in some warmth. saturation a bit
and I'm pretty happy with that. And one thing I might do is warm up the water down here. I think it looks a little purple or blue. So what I'm going to do is shift this over to the reds. And that will very slightly give a warm cast to the water down there. And these blues here, I think they could be a little deeper. So i just shift blues back down to zero. And... I think that's pretty close. And I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll leave it there guys. You guys can go give them a follow down in the description. Give myself a follow down there as well. And definitely comment who you guys want to see. That way I can reach out to them on Instagram. And ask them to send in the photo to do a tutorial on them. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Definitely leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one.